Hi to everyone. Um, glad to see that everyone can join me. I'm very excited, obviously, to, to do this class today. And um, obviously, you know, we're in a, <laughs> exceptional uh, circumstances. And um, I hope that everyone's family uh, is well and, and everyone's health is well. So basically, today's session is about controlling the ball. And I'll give theoretical and practical lessons on how to achieve this skill much better. Obviously, um, everyone has their own theories, but um, I'm going to give you uh, this class and show you how to do it much better. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want everyone to have the knowledge of how to perform these skills much better. And I believe that, it, obviously, in these uncertain times, that we can achieve our goals and I want you to achieve your goals and to do that you can't sit on your laurels and do nothing. You have to push forward and start to work harder so you can achieve the goals that you want to achieve. Obviously it's frustrating because you're not playing with your team and you're not playing games on the weekend so you know this gives you the opportunity to continue uh, to practice and, and, and work as hard as you can. Um, please leave messages um, uh, on the Instagram live to tell me where you're from, it would be great. Uh, my wife and I are keen uh, to, to know where you're from and, and, and it gives us an idea of, of who we're dealing with. So great to see um, uh, people joining me. Obviously I've got some, some clients I can see through coming through, Sis and uh, Michael, um, Sam, thanks very much, Caitlin. So I'll, I'll be getting to as many people as I can. Obviously if you have any questions while I'm doing this, please put the questions down and I'll, I'll um, make some time to, to answer as many questions as I possibly can. Okay, so uh, basically um, what I want to do is start now and what I'm going to be discussing is control. So this is the rebound A system that I've been developing for the last 20 years. And the reason why I developed it is because I knew that we were technically deficient in some areas. So... The rebound A system basically works with a ball and a wall. And the more repetitions you do, the better you become. It's based around volume. So we want to, the, the, one of the key aspects of it is to use both sides of your body. You can't just use left foot or just use right foot. So we want to become fluent on both sides of your body. It also helps, um, obviously, with your balance, your coordination. But don't forget that the control is one of the most critical areas in this game. So I'll be um, running through the exercises discussing these areas. So um, I'm going to start now with a video and my wife's going to be helping me obviously with the technical area. So I hope that everyone can see the video fine. And we'll start with the first exercise. Most of the time, anywhere you are, you can find a wall to practice on. When you're practicing with a partner, you don't know where the ball's going to come back to you and you're not going to get as many repetitions. And that's the biggest problem when you're learning. You need more repetitions. So against the wall, I can pass the ball within one hour of completing wall exercises. We can reach, for a complete beginner, anywhere between one or 2,000 touches. In club football, you're getting no more than around 400 touches. So, first we're going to start with the left foot passing. What I'm going to do is pass the ball against the wall and let the ball come back. So, as I pass, I let it come back and then I step in. Okay, so we let it come back. We want to keep the ball along the ground. We step in. Now, as we have learned before, I'll get Billy to come and just step on the ball. When I go to pass with the left foot, that right foot has to be there. So this lines my body up. So as I'm passing towards the wall, everything's straight and the ball should come back. There's one common denominator in this exercise. The wall never makes a mistake. The only person that can make a mistake is you. So if your technique is not sound, the ball won't come straight back. So we'll go back into it. So I pass, step back, step into the ball when the ball's coming back. So I get the same line. Now I open up. And then we start to get rhythm with it. 
and I start bouncing on the balls of my feet. And as we become better at it, we keep on passing. Now, if I pass the ball and the ball doesn't come straight back to me, and it goes, I happen to pass the ball to the right hand side, that ball is going to end up coming on this side. The first thing I have to do is learn movement. So as I pass that way, I have to move to get back onto the left foot, then I straighten up. If the ball goes to the left hand side, I move slightly to the left. Right? So at the same time, we're creating movement and making sure that we get right behind the ball for a push pass. Now, don't forget when we pass, we make that triangle, slightly bend the knee and push through the middle of the ball. Okay? After we've completed left foot, then we move on to the right foot. Okay, I just got my wife to stop the video there for a second. What I want to tell you is that in this position, even when you're going to pass, obviously you're going to get so many more repetitions. The key is here, it's the same position mechanically you're going to use when you control the ball. And this is critical because if you don't get the mechanics right, you're going to make an error. And as you can see in this video, I'm positioning my right foot obviously in perfect position to, to strike the ball with my left foot. And that's the exact same position that you use when you go to control the ball. So it's all about getting the mechanics right. So now we'll move on with the video. Just the right foot. Make sure that the right foot's operating well. Okay, as you can see, I'm bouncing, stepping into that ball. When the ball comes back, I step into it again. So slightly back, step in. Okay, that's right foot. Make sure that you only do one foot at a time. Once you've completed both sides and you think that your left is just as good as your right, then we move into alternating. Okay, in alternating, we just go from one foot to the other. The moment I pass the ball, I want to swivel my hips and open the other side. So I'll do it very slowly now. Pass and alternate. So I just turn. And once I get that right, then I can start to increase the speed and the power. Okay, we'll coordinate your body and get your steps right. Okay, we'll stop the video there. Now, that was obviously the first exercise. It's a very simple exercise. You can get started with this exercise to make sure that you're, you're completing both sides of the body. And what, it, what I explained in the video was basically that if you can pass the ball 100 times without making an error, then you can move on to the other foot and then what happens is that both sides of your brain is working evenly. Because you know sometimes when you go to kick the ball with the opposite foot, you sort of think, oh, I better not because just in case I make a mistake. Well, this will eliminate that fear. You don't want to have the fear leading into a pass or into e executing a particular skill. So now we're going to move into the second video. And this video is using the, the inside of the foot, but we have one bounce in between when we go to hit the wall. And please don't forget to ask me any questions that you want. This is, this is the moment where you need to ask me the questions. If you're unsure of something, just put the questions down and I'll have a look at them and I'll try to answer them as best I can. So just bear with us for a second. We're just moving on to the second video. Okay. Okay, now we're going to move into passing the ball with one bounce against the wall. Now, to complete this exercise, we come close to the wall, so around, say, two feet away from the wall, which is reasonably close. Now, I just hold the ball, as a, as a beginner, I just hold the ball there and let the ball bounce a few times, and then we're using the inside of the left foot to hit the ball. So I'm going to stop there. The reason why we're doing, using this technique is because a lot of the times the ball may bounce. Right? So we have to know how to control the ball or pass the ball. Everything's the same. Right foot stays pretty much.
out straight and then we just open up and bend the knee and everything stays locked in this is locked in ankles locked in and now the hips completing the movement so I'll get Billy just to hold on to that ball now the action is this this is the action it comes from the hip it's just a little touch okay now the reason why you're completing these skills is because you want to get the feeling of hitting the ball in the correct position all the time. Okay? So it would be in that position that we've discussed before, right in the middle of that foot. Okay? Which is around here, in between, past the heel and just before the toes. Okay. When I'm pointing at my hand, it's quite, it's much easier for me to explain when I've got my hand out. So if you can have a look at it, Basically, we want to be hitting the ball right in that area there, okay? So that's where the actual power is on your foot. It's the exact same spot you're using when you're controlling the ball. And with these particular exercises, when you repeat them a lot, you subconsciously end up doing the right thing all the time because the, you're trying to hit the sweet spot all the time. And a lot of the time when we go to training, we don't have time to do that. So you have to... Uh, you have to uh, make sure that you give yourself enough time on your own to train this particular skill so that when you go to training, you're not thinking about whether you're going to make a mistake or not. It's like knowing the alphabet. You know when you go to school, you're not going to be redoing the alphabet. You know it off by heart. So you need to get the basic skills right. So we'll go back to the video and we'll see how we, how we do this. player I've got good balance and coordination so I'm standing and creating balance coordination and skill at the same time but some of you may not be able to complete that just standing on the right foot so what you have to do is hit the ball and then bounce off the right foot hit the ball and bounce hit the ball and bounce so I'll show you how to do that so my right foot's just coming up until I get used to the exercise. And my arms come out for balance slightly here. I'm not hitting hard, I'm just trying to get rhythm. Okay, so I'll get to the completed left foot, we move on to the right foot. When you feel that you're competent enough on the left, the magic number would be around 100 without making a mistake. If you can do 100, then you're going to be able to do 200 and 300. So you'll, you'll be fine. So now we go on to the right foot. Same thing. If you want, as an example, you can flick the ball up and start like this. Flick and start. If you can't, just hold the ball, let it bounce a couple of times, and then we go into the right foot. Again, if we can't stand, we take a step off the left foot. Go on to the third, the most important alternating. Okay, so it can go from one side to the other. Okay, as we, as we mentioned before, we move on to alternating because obviously I can perform the exercise on both sides of my body, body fairly equally. So when we move on to the alternating, that means we move from one side of the brain to the other and we don't get caught. So every time we go and control the ball, if it comes to, our, to the right side of our body, we're not thinking about moving across to, to control the ball with the left. We're just doing what's necessary. And that's how you become fluent and um, a much better player, but not thinking too much because you've already stuck it into the modem. And that comes through the repetition of doing this. So now we go back to the video and you'll see how quickly I'm doing it with both feet and evenly. start moving my feet quicker. As you can see, I'm not really hitting the ball quickly, I'm moving my limbs quickly. So I'm mo Okay, so that's the end of that exercise. Passing the ball with one bounce against the wall. Now, just one moment as we do just the technical. So, 
At this particular time now, we've worked on the inside of the foot, which is one of the most common uh, techniques that we use. Whether we're passing the ball, controlling the ball, volleying the ball, we're using the inside of the foot the majority of the time. And the reason for this is because you've got a bigger, sweeter spot. So the bigger the sweet spot, the less chance you have of making an error. Now we're going to move into a more difficult exercise because we're going to use the full instep, which is the shooting uh, technique, and obviously you can control the ball with that part of the foot as well. But you'll see now while we do these exercises, this is how our foot will be positioned, and we're going to be do using this particular technique. I call it the full instep, you can call it whatever you want, that's how I determine uh, how do we differentiate between both exercises. So let's move now to the video and have a look at it. stays locked, ankle stays locked, knee stays there, everything comes from the hip now, my toes down, so here's the toes, I'll give you an example, when we go and shoot we don't want the toes in the way, so in other words the ball is going to ramp up, we want the toes tucked underneath, so this part of the foot comes and protrudes in front and then strikes the ball, so that's what we're trying to do, we're trying to touch the ball there all the time, so we know when we go to shoot, that's where we need to hit. That's where the power is. Okay? So, if we can't get the balance, again, we hop off the right foot slightly. Okay. One significant point is many coaches will tell you to get your knee over the ball. The reason is we don't want the ball to go over the crossbar. But if you complete this exercise, you don't need to think about getting your knee over the ball. Your knee instantaneously is over the, over the ball. So watch, as I complete the exercise, my knee comes over the ball and stays low. So I know what it feels like to do it. I don't need to think about it when I go and shoot now. And my touch is good. So now, I'll go on to right foot. My left foot's very good. Magic number, 100. If you can do 100 without making a mistake, you're in big business. Okay, now we go right foot. So we've got balance, coordination, and the ball's hitting in the same position most of the time. Now, if I can't do it balanced, I take a step. Take a short little step off my left foot. And that's the exercise. So I get, when you are alternating, and soften up. Don't try and hit too hard. Just nice and soft, but hold the ankle in that position. Okay? Very important we don't swing when we get close or this is about developing your touch. Okay? So it's soft. All you want to do is get that toe down. This is one of the most important skills when it comes to shooting. Okay. Okay, there's, there's a couple of very important lessons in that. Obviously, when we're going to perform the exercise, we want to lock in our ankle, and then we lock in our knee, and then we lock in our hip. So I'm just giving the example with my arm because it's just easier. So the hip... Just say that's the shoulder is the actual movement. The rest has to stay the same. And then when we're doing the full instep, you have to make sure that you just try and hit the bone that protrudes. You don't hit into the side because then the ball will fall off to the side. We want to make sure that we hit in the middle. That's why it's more difficult to perform this particular technique because the surface area is less. And so you have a bigger chance of making an error. 
But if you repeat it many times, you'll get used to it and then you'll get a real feel for it. And then when the ball comes to you, you need to control it. You know exactly what to do. The ball will come, land on your foot and you just drop your foot and all of a sudden you've got the ball under control. So a couple of points, obviously. Repetition is, is obviously the mother's, is the mother's skill. So you have to repeat it as many times as you can until it becomes so easy for you, then you can move on to more difficult exercises. So what I want to do is actually thank everyone for attending this course. It's, it's very exciting for me. I'm very grateful for having this opportunity to give you uh, the knowledge and about controlling the ball. Um, please send me your questions. I'd really like to see all the questions. Thank you. I'm acknowledging, obviously, some of the people that have written in and saying thank you for doing this for us. I will be doing more, more classes on the internet. Uh, please write uh, text in to tell me which subjects you'd like me to touch on because there's a lot of areas that I can, can work with you on, on, on football. And I would like to see... Um, all the coaches, please don't hesitate to contact me as well to write some questions down. It doesn't matter if you're a coach. I can help you uh, develop your players. I can help develop some like, new ideas for you. So don't feel embarrassed. I'd love to hear from everyone. I'm here to help everyone. It's been, uh, I'm very grateful, like I said again. Uh, it, it's been such a pleasure. But I'm very excited about sharing more knowledge. I've got a lot of content but what you have to do now, obviously in these circumstances, is you have to go and practice what I'm telling you. And if you do that, you'll be very efficient and then you'll be way ahead of the competitors by the time you go back to training or go, by, uh, go back to, to playing your matches again. So once again, thank you. Thank you to my lovely wife for helping me with the, with the technical side. And uh, for the next you know, hour or two, I'll be having a look at all the questions and answering as many questions as I can. Please pass the information on to your, your friends who are interested in, in football. Tag them in Instagram, and uh, we'll see you soon. So bye for now.